Hello, and I'm going to be talking about the fastest fish that you can find in the world. So right here we have five fish. The yellowfish tuna, the shortfin mako, the sailfish, the swordfish, and the mullein. I want you all to take uh, ten, five, ten seconds to and try to figure out which one of these is the fastest. Well, there is... Depending on where you go, there's multiple correct answers, but for today, the correct answers, there are two. It is the short fin mako and the sailfish. So the first fish we're going to talk about is the sailfish. And according to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, or NOAA, it, uh, it has the, the fastest sailfish recorded speed is 68 miles per hour. And to compare that to a human, the fastest human can, can swim at 6 miles per hour. That makes the sailfish 11.3 times faster in the water than a human. And the, it's faster because of the tail shape, its beak, and its, the position of its scales. Uh, so if you look to the right, the picture on the right of the picture of the sailfish and you look at the bottom left middle tail, that is a homoseal caudal fin. And that's the type of fin, caudal fin the sailfish has. And it's called a homoseal caudal fin because it looks a mirrored image of it. If you were to draw a line of symmetry, it would look the exact same. And within that, it has a lunate or crescent shape, and it's called that because it looks like a crescent moon. And this tail is designed for traveling long distances at high speed. And so, and another thing that helps it is the bill. And the bill ha has serves two purposes. It's used to help the sailfish capture prey, and it's also used to reduce the drag for when it's going at high speeds. And it, it acts like a, a cone for a fighter jet, how it helps displace the air so it can move uh, more stable through the air. And as these sailfish grows older, the scales it has starts to move farther into the dermal layer and it gives it this smooth appearance which decreases the drag that it would encounter from the water. So the next fish we're going to talk about is the short fin mako. And this fish or shark uh, is estimated to go between 70 and 80 miles per hour. And because of this high speed it's also known as the cheetah of the oceans. A shark has a hectroxial caudal fin. If you want to see an example that's not on a shark, you can go back to the previous slide and look at the top middle right on the picture on the right side of the slide. And this is because one of the lobes is is a different is a different length than the other one, so it's not perfectly lined up if you were to have a line of symmetry. And it this also has a lunate and crescent shape caudal fin. But one of the reasons why it goes so fast and so unhindered is because of its scales. So I'm going to play this video and it will show you. So as the shark's swimming with the, how, the, how it's going, so when the shark it has the water going left, going left to right over it, its scales on its caudal fin is flat to help reduce the drag. But when the tail starts to go towards the other direction, to the other half of the body, those scales start to go upright. And this creates vortices, which also help uh, decrease the turbulence that's caused by the tail swimming and also decreases the drag. But it doesn't do this all over the place. Like on the snout, on it, the scales are permanently always flat. And here's an interesting fact. The mako 
is one of four shorks that are endothermic. The other three is the salmon shark, the portobello shark, and the great white shark. Okay, uh, so I'm Melitzel Castro, and I'm going to talk to you guys about the fastest land mammal. So, here's a collection of mammals that are found on land. Uh, we have the springbok, the cheetah, the pronghorn, and the lion. So, which animal do you guys think is the fastest land mammal? If you guys said the cheetah, then you guys would be correct. So some facts about cheetahs. Uh, they are carnivorous mammals, so they eat meat. They weigh anywhere from 70 to 140 pounds and can live up to 12 years old while in the wild. Uh, cheetahs are actually the fastest land mammals in the world. Uh, they're capable of accelerating from zero to 70 miles per, per hour in only three seconds. Some have even been recorded going up to 80 miles per hour. They're often found in the grasslands of eastern, central, and southwestern Africa, as well as parts of Iran. For cheetahs to be able to run this fast, they evolved various special adaptations. Some of these adaptations, which are features that an animal has developed over time in order to live in a specific environment, include wide nostrils, large lungs, and a powerful heart which contain strong arteries that provide more oxygen to their muscles. They often have a small head and a flat face. This allows for their large eyes to be positioned for maximum binocular vision. They have a small body frame, which is lightweight and aerodynamic. This helps them with speed and agility. They have long tails, which help them balance by counteracting their body weight and preventing them from rolling over or spinning out during high speed chases. They have massive leg muscles that consist of fast twitch fibers. These fibers all act simultaneously, contracting faster than normal muscles and allowing for high acceleration. They have super long legs and loose hip and shoulder joints that swivel on a flexible spine that curves up and down. This actually gives them the ability to cover 20 to 25 feet in just one stride. An example of how they run is featured in this video that I'm going to play. I'm only going to play the first one minute of the video. One last fun fact. Cheetahs are actually the only big cats that have non-retractable claws. That means that when they run, their claws do not fully retract. This gives them better grip while running after their prey by giving them better traction on the ground. The claws are also slightly curved so they can easily dig their claws into their prey.